Hi everybody, Gary Williams here for Toolbarn.com's Barn Batter, and our topic today is pneumatics. Yeah, pneumatics, you know, as in tools driven by compressed air. Uh, it's a category we haven't really discussed a whole lot on Barn Banner, but it's really a, a very good category because these tools come in very handy in a lot of different situations. And this is a good example. This is an impact driver from Mighty 7, and we'll talk about the advantages of this little baby in just a couple of minutes. Now, we're also going to talk to Joel from Hitachi about Hitachi's line of nailers. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about compressors because that's really where the power for all these pneumatics come from. Uh, compressors compress air, those drive things, and you know, without compressors, tools like this become, well, you know, paperweights. And that's not really what you're after when you, when you buy something like this. So stay with us and we'll show you more. You know, compressors come in all shapes and sizes, and before you rush right out and buy one, you know, some great big gigantic thing that you really don't need, you ought to do a little homework and make sure you're getting what you want, and that's a big deal for us at uh, Toolbarn.com too. We do want to make sure you buy the right compressor for the right job. So, if what you're doing is mostly things around your home, maybe like uh, doing some trim work with, a, with a, a brad gun or something like that, or filling up tires or filling up pool toys for the kids, you don't want something real huge, but something like this might be just what you're looking for. This is the Makita Max 700. Uh, it's got a two horsepower motor. It's got a 2.6 gallon uh, storage, uh, compressed air storage tank. And it'll handle just about all those things that you need. And it will also keep up with a framing gun if that's what you want to do. But it's ideal for the lighter jobs around your house. If you're a real active do-it-yourselfer or uh, even a professional, you may need something just a little bit bigger in the compressor line. And this is the Roll Air Bull. And this might just fit your, fit your needs really well. It's, a, it's got a double tank. It's a two horsepower single stage compressor. And it's capable of powering a couple of uh, roofing nailers or a couple of framing nailers or even up to five trim or finish nailers. So you can get a lot of capacity with this thing. Uh, it actually also runs pretty quietly. As compressors go, that's pretty quiet. So it's small in uh, footprint. It'll fit inside your workspace pretty well, and, and it's just a handy thing to have around. These are just a couple of the many compressors we have available at toolbarn.com. We've got compressors for just about every need you may have. So look, check it out. It can be a little bit confusing when you talk about HPs and CFMs and all those other things. Uh, we've got a buying guide online that'll help you make your choice and help you buy the right tool for the right job. So check it out at toolbarn.com. And you know, it'll also explain the difference between pancake compressors and hot dog compressors. If we ever get the meatloaf compressors, I'm probably going to buy a couple of those. So anyway, check it all out at toolborn.com. So you've got your compressor, and now you want some really nice pneumatic tools. And I'll tell you, a good place to start is this impact wrench from M7. This is a really popular one, and for good reason. If you take a look at this thing, a small size, uh, you know, it's a lot smaller than you might find with some of its uh, battery-operated or corded, electrically corded competitors. Uh, and that's one of the nice things about hydraulic or, or pneumatic tools, rather, is you can uh, get smaller sizes, more reliability, because there are fewer moving parts in these things. Great power. This thing only weighs about three pounds, by the way, and it's ergonomically designed, so it'll be comfortable to use pretty much all day long, or at least more comfortable than a, a heavier model would be. So it's got a lot of power. You know, you'll get a lot of work done with this thing. It's great for taking lug nuts off of wheels, which, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I've had to do that more than once. And for a lot of other heavy-duty jobs uh, around the shop or in your home or whatever you need. So check this thing out at toolbarn.com. I tell you, these pneumatic tools are really great. These compressors are really great. We've got everything you need, toolbarn.com. Okay, everybody, you all know what this is. It's a good old-fashioned hammer, and it's a manual hammer, and it's got a great place in your toolbox for all kinds of great things. I like hammers. But power hammers, pneumatic hammers, they're even better, pneumatic nailers. And Joel from Hitachi is here to tell us about a great line of pneumatic nailers from Hitachi. And Joel, you've got a, quite a selection here. You want to kind of give us the overview, and then we'll dig into some things uh, specifically. Yeah, uh, thanks, Gary. Um, Hitachi has you know, been around for over 60 years as a full-line power tool manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Um, but in the residential construction market, we've really uh, come to the forefront uh, for our pneumatic nails and uh, become really well known for that just because of the durability, the dependability, the, the, the long-lasting nature sure. of all of them. Sure. So. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I think a lot of people think pneumatic nailers, they think of one. 
mm -hmm. kind of a pneumatic nailer, but you've got, what, 10, 8, 9, 10 here? Right. Uh, why don't you just kind of highlight a couple of the, the those that, the, like this thing, for example, looks like something you'd see on a, an old Untouchables movie. You know, it looks <laughs> a little bit like a machine gun. Yeah, this is our uh, NV65 siding nailer. Okay. So this will do uh, up to two and a half inch coil siding nails. Um, popular for not only siding, but uh, fencing, um, things like that. Sure. Um, a lot of neat features on this tool. I mean, it's very lightweight, well balanced. Uh, it's got the rubber grip, you know, because when you're up on a ladder, attaching sure. siding right. all day, you know, you want to be comfortable doing it. All right. Uh, toolless uh, depth adjustment. It's got a shield here to protect you from the um, the wire collation that's going to um, exit the tool. Mm -hmm. So. So it's a, it's a, a little heavier duty type of a thing. Uh, not probably quite as heavy duty as this. Yeah, this is this would be your uh, framing nailer. Um, this is the NR90 series, and, and there's two of them, one for paper tape collated and one for plastic collated. Um, this shoots up to a three and a half inch nail. Um, the, the plastic collated is going to be your full round head nails. All right. the, the paper tape would be your clip head nails. Okay. Keep that away from the kids, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know some kids that would probably shoot three and a half inch nails, but, you know, probably at each other or something. Yeah. Now, this one, give, this, us a, give us a rundown. This is the um, uh, 16 gauge finish nailer, NT65. This does up to two and a half inch nails, so this would be for your finish work, trim work, uh, things like that. All right. um, along with this, this is the um, angled finish gun, right. 15 gauge, so right. this is going to get you into some tighter spots, um, but both good for finish work. So, uh, I tell you what, this one is probably the one, is this the one that everybody's got in their house? I mean, or something like it? This is the narrow crown stapler, you're, right. you're probably thinking of this, this is the two inch brad nailer. Yeah, um, okay. Does 18 gauge brad, so right. again, uh, real popular for finish work. Um, it's got a no-mar tip on the end, so you're not right. going to leave, leave a mark behind on your Right, work. so you can trim work and all kinds of things with these little things, and they're convenient and handy to get uh, into those tight spaces with, too. Correct. Right. Yep. So, uh, yeah, you know, probably a silly question, but um, a lot of people might ask, why would you want to have a, and the answer to me is kind of obvious, because I'm, I'm all about power tools there, but why would you go for something like this instead of this? What, what, what are the obvious? Why have eight of these instead of one of these? Sure. Uh, for one, just the, the speed, I mean, the, the convenience, um, you're going to be a lot more efficient. You can drive a lot more nails mm -hmm. with a tool than you can by hand. Sure, wear and tear on your body, I'm Absolutely. assuming, has a, has a uh, factor in there too. So, All right, well look, there's a lot of cool stuff. We're going to put a nail in this, part of, in this part of the discussion right now. Put a nail in it. I didn't actually mean to say that, but we're going to put a nail in it. <laughs> it must be just, I'm just used to it now. But we're going to put a nail into it, and Joel is going to explain more about these tools online on our Tool, uh, tool Barn channel. So uh, check that out, and, and if you're looking for any of these great tools, compressors, any kind of pneumatics, check out toolbarn.com and you will absolutely find what you're after. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.